All right, everybody, Southern Creator here. As promised, I did some more work on the outside. The inside I have hardly done anything with. Uh, but let's take a look here. First thing you'll see is I have got some striping down the causeway here. Uh, the uh, interruptions in the paint are deliberate. I want this to look well-worn, run down, washed away by rain, etc. Uh, so that's what I've been doing here. You'll notice it's not quite complete yet. Um, I am leaving a few tiles exposed for now, such that uh, let's get my jumper plate box, such that when I go back with speeders or whatever, I can put those in there like that and uh, have them down. I don't want to just pave the entire road and then have to pull up tiles to get there. So I just left a bunch of them randomly open just so I can have the ability to do that later when I put in the last final details. All right, so there's the causeway, looking pretty good. Put in some water drains and all that, it's gonna look nice. It's about all to say about that. Now, going up to the front here, this is where it gets interesting. Uh, I've got uh, a spot here for vendors. Uh, they'll be selling fish and uh, things like that, food. Um, you can see it looks worn down. It's old scaffolding. Someone's put sheet metal up. It's not perfect. I just I like the look. I think it turned out okay for what I wanted. Um, we got some random. I always like greebling. Um, this is like a electrical line up here. It goes and you'll notice it leads to as promised a little um, guard shack if you will out here uh, in the front of uh, by the gate here I'll have a, a droid or two there security um, maybe some patrol troopers out nearby anyway uh, here's some water tanks that go in um, and I like things to make sense these aren't just going into a wall into oblivion. You may remember this is where the heat vents, uh, a lot of heat is water sourced, like boiler. So that's where that goes into. Uh, it makes sense. Got a little bit of a leak. I like little details like that. I don't know about y'all, but I love little details like that. So then you can see that there's, you know, uh, old algae and junk growing around it because the water always sits there uh, with some uh, water actively running out. Uh, you'll also notice that I've got uh, storm drains, water drains. Uh, Corellia is a temperate plant that uh, rains a lot. I, I, I think it'd be akin to something like uh, a Seattle or Portland, judging by uh, what we've seen in the uh, um, in the movies. Or for those of you in Europe, maybe something like a uh, uh, Scotland, a temperate, mild climate with rain. Um, so I've got several of those. One here, here, and then one down here. Here's an up close of the drain. Uh, again, and I haven't gotten done tiling all this yet because um, I'm going to have a lot of people walking around, so I don't quite know yet where I want all my jumper plates. Uh, but we'll get there. But you get the idea. You get the idea. Uh, I think it looks good so far. Of course, I got railing. I don't want people just exposed to fall into the water, so there's railing there. It goes all the way down. Uh, lastly, a couple things up here on the facade of the building. You'll notice I finally gotten done tiling the walls, right? Uh, so one thing that you'll notice I've done, I've done a little editing work. I have put some light bluish gray panels on here uh, in various places to show that they have, you know, over time, as you get the rust that gets unbearable, they, they'll put some new plating on. So you can see a mixture of the original metal plate to rusting areas like this to new plating that they've put down and of course it looks you can tell the difference between the old and the new and all that uh, i think it gives it a really nice old old factory look now lastly let's get over here i finished uh this was a hard part i, I really just debated how to do this for for weeks finally i decided uh, what to do um, so this is the arabesh letter g and the 77 the numbers are mostly the same of course to latin characters uh, so yeah, G77, I figured it means something like gate 77, something like that. These factory complexes are enormous. So this is just one random gate 
uh, here and you can tell they've got there's a little rust around here some panels up there that they've had to cover things up I, I think it uh, I think it does well I think it gives it a very nice if we back up a very nice Star Wars look uh, what a factory on Corellia I think would look like uh, I've got some lights out here in front of it I think that's about that's about all that uh, that I've done here this is a lot of work the more detailed you get the more work it is so you know sometimes it looks like you haven't done a lot but I've, I've spent <laughs> a week um, trying to think up things to do kind of getting my ideas worked out of what I wanted and there'll be a little bit more going in here you'll notice that uh, the scaffolding above the road is gone I just it's not going away I just removed it so I could have good act I kept knocking it down with my hands uh, so I just put it aside for now. That'll go back in later. Anyway, uh, let me know what y'all think about this. It's uh, starting to get good, I think. Have a good one.